The Queensland government says Adani has more work to do to get its Queensland coal mine over the line. The Indian energy giant announced yesterday that its Carmichael mine in central Queensland will go ahead after years of delays and will be self-financed. Here's reporter Josh Robertson. Uh, Josh, what's the state government saying? Ros, there has been a noticeable cooling in the state government's enthusiasm for this project. Uh, Adani, for its part, has become a significant donor of its rival, the uh, opposition Liberal National Party in Queensland, uh, and uh, the LNP Queensland Senator, the Federal Resources Minister, Matthew Canavan, yesterday was very enthusiastic uh, in commending Adani on its announcement. But by contrast, the Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk, uh, who, you know, as recently as last year, was saying that her government was determined to see the project through, instead yesterday she was openly sceptical about the announcement. Here's what she had to say this morning. They have to have agreements with Horizon. We haven't seen any of that evidence of, as of yet. And, of course, uh, we will uh, believe it when we see it. So uh, we've had milestones reached before. So, you know, you know we'll have to just uh, make sure that we have a look at that revised uh, schedule. So, Josh, when does Adani say it'll start building and operating the mine? Well, the Adani Mining Chief Executive, Lucas Dow, said yesterday, within weeks, he says the remaining approvals are uh, effectively routine matters. Uh, but key roadblocks do still remain. Uh, Adani needs the state government to sign off on a water plan to make sure that it doesn't... Uh, uh, cause one of the world's last unspoiled oases, uh, the Dungmabola Springs, to run dry. Uh, and it also faces ongoing legal challenges right now in the, uh, before the full bench of the federal court from some traditional owners of the mine site. Now, they've, uh, they've said they're determined to take that fight with Adani. They say the company does not have its consent to go ahead. And they'll say they'll go to the high court if necessary. Now, it's hard to see that kind of action being resolved for many months.